<laughs> um, so I'm actually catching you right now after your very first day of rehearsal. And what at this moment are you really interested in diving into and investigating for yourself? Like what questions are really um, alive in you right now? And what are you excited to explore for the rest of this like first week? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think one of the things that always excites me as a director and, and the kind of work that I'm excited by is mm -hmm. like, why theater, right? Like we've spent the last several, two years like without it for so long and right. we all, I will speak for myself, turned to Netflix and Hulu and every other plus, <laughs> whatever plus, right? Too many, too many So many, many pluses, right? <laughs> um, and, and we got to see stories told through a cinematic lens, through, mm -hmm. through a television lens. And it's made me even more um, curious about that question of like, why theater, right? And I think this play is so inherently theatrical, right? Yeah. The, the way, the structure of the narrative, the way in which uh, Martina writes, the, the sort of explosiveness of the dialogue, the repetition, the cycles, the loops, and... Um, it, 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 it is a director's playing field, right? Like, yeah. it, it could be done anyway, truly. And so I think after hearing it out loud and, you know, obviously being deeply excited about exploring, like, the relationship with these characters, you know, one of the things I think that's so thrilling about the play is everybody is right. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody's wrong. And that makes for a thrilling conflict, yes. <laughs> right? You're like, well, what do you do? Yeah. You're, you're looking for a villain. You're looking for someone to blame. You're looking for... Who's the, the bad person, right? right? But it's like no one is. Like these are people struggling with real issues. And so, you know, what happens? Like how do we find understanding and, and how through listening can we really um, understand each of these characters' um, deep human needs, yeah. deep human flaws? Mm -hmm. You know, how is this play going to like come to life on stage, you know? I think for me, it's like there's, I'm so excited about finding a, a physical vocabulary of how the play moves that that um, uh, supports the language. You know, it, it moves fast. Yeah. It is a play that just, <laughs> it goes, it goes, and there's an inherent rhythm and, and pattern to the language. And I think, you know, that that's my big thing, is like not wanting it to get, you know, get bogged down in a sort of... Um, I could turn on my TV and I could watch this, right? It's not right. that kind of a play, right? right. You know, it, it is inherently theatrical. So I think for me, that is a question that I'm really leading with. It's like, how do we unlock that theatricality and, and remind people of the power of being able to to be in a room together, to, to have that sort of inexplicable moment where like maybe everyone's heartbeat sinks up or everyone breathes at the same time right and it's like that connection that 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 undeniable connection that happens in the theater and and how do we find that both in in their story and in the yeah. way in which we tell their story so an audience can can tap in you know yeah so i think that's like really where you know like honestly the big question is like i don't know how i'm gonna do it but like how you know it's like <laughs> How do we do it? You know, right. um, and and we have such an incredible cast, um, an incredible set of designers who I think all have deep personal connections to um, to different parts of the narrative and right. are able to um, bring their own personal truths and selves to the work. And I love theater because it's collaborative and and like I mean that. You know, I think people are yeah. like collaboration, but I'm like I mean it. <laughs> like I, I, you know, I love I love not knowing a lot mm -hmm. going into a process and I love learning in collaboration with the things that we collectively all know together. Yeah.